Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. When we're in the midst of struggle, when we're facing joblessness, when we're facing a career battle, when we're looking at how do I rebuild my business after many years, after cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud on our life, police brutality and medical issues and strife, we are looking for how do I feed ourselves? How do we feed ourselves? Well, thankfully in Illinois, there's something called the Illinois Food Bank, and it's sectioned off in areas within the state. The Eastern Illinois Food Bank is the one providing things for Champaign County and surrounding communities, of which I'm not a master of their names, but the reality is that they do provide food. The challenge of food pantries today is most of the food, of course, is donated by national or international corporations that produce foods and they're gifted or they're grocery stores that gift foods that have just expired but still have an end date or a safe date in which they can be utilized. The hard part for the person who is not indigent where they still have a home refrigerator, stove, and microwave, for the person who's truly living in the streets is that most of the time the property values or the food values that are available to us are either too large for us to carry or they're not appropriate for living in the streets because there's no toileting available or they're simply just not right because they require some sort of microwaving, some sort of water opportunity, some sort of stove to utilize. For folks who are really living in the streets, there are simple foods that are pop top that really do work effectively for someone who is in the mood to stay healthy and in good nutrition. Usually they are cans of protein like cans of chicken or those marvelous Starkist chicken salad packets and those sorts of things where they're really well sealed and can't be monkeyed with. Or some sort of canned ham, pork, or beef. The challenge about some of those is either their volumes are way too small or way too large, but there are some good quality companies out there at a Dollar Tree or a Dollar General where you can get those and donate those to the pantry or to people who are in poverty. On top of that, people do appreciate the occasional fresh piece of fruit, but again, during a time of COVID, a time of tra human trafficking and other kinds of concerns of stranger dangers, we prefer to have canned goods of maybe low syrup canned fruit. Anything beyond that would be some sort of a chicken-based chicken noodle or chicken and dumplings are easy to eat cold in the streets. Other things that are also made by marvelous manufacturers in canned pastas, such as a canned rotini or occasionally the canned ravioli is some, or the uh, spaghetti and meatballs, especially with the meatballs so you have some protein, can be eaten cold. It's not a horrible thing. The can itself also, if you have an open flame or a, a, a some sort of a fire pit, can be heated that way. Some people who live in the streets do have some sort of a, a way to carry a pan of some kind. Most people, however, do try to carry it as light as they can. Water bottles are not something we really need. What we truly need are cans of iced tea and cans of lemonade or cans of fruit juices. The challenge of fruit juices is sometimes the sugar in them can give us too much of a sugar high such that we crash in energy. That's why a water-based sort of canned iced tea, sweet tea, or canned lemonade, or canned orange drink that doesn't have a lot of carbonate, which has salt and can deplete your energy, is the best thing you can gift to somebody. Those things can be easily found at Walmart or at Aldi's or some sort of a Dollar General. Those are the best things to provide people. The crackers on occasion, the chips or the cookies are lovely, but a lot of times people provide them in chocolate or peanut butter, and many people have allergies to those types of flavors. Also, not everyone enjoys spices who live in the streets because when we're trying to interact and network for our job, our career, our business, we don't want to smell like those things. So that's something else to think about. Also, we have the challenge when we live in the streets of carrying it all if we don't have a vehicle for our business or for our life. It's also challenging if we don't have a set of wheels because while it's nice to be able to carry a backpack on occasion, most of us that live in the streets have blankets to carry and other things that are essential for us staying warm and safe and dry. In the concept of foods and insecurities, we have a lot to think about. The other parts of that 
are something that we can talk about more in private. But there are food loving food pantries around the community. They usually all have some, some sort of caveat about how many things you can take away from them. But sometimes if you talk with the leaders when you truly live in the streets, they can kind of change around some of the products so it's much more appropriate to someone who doesn't have that microwave, stove, or refrigerator. Thanks for listening.